What's up, hey, what's good, what's poppin'? I am Miss Barry, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys for sliding through and coming to kick it with me. As you guys can see from the title, you already know what we're getting up into. I don't really have to say too much about it. The video is not really that long, and I'm not really gonna do too much talking. We're gonna get straight up into it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so random. I don't even know why I just did that. Mecca. Okay. Yeah, I'm cold. I got the heat on, but... Multiculturalism. First welcome. the progressive era in intellectuals and race, then you deal with the liberal era, and then comes the era of multiculturalism. Intellectuals and race, quote, the era of multiculturalism might be considered an extension of the liberal era, but it has evolved its own characteristics. Multiculturalism is an insistence that the particular cultures found among less fortunate groups are not to be blamed for disparities in income or education or crime rates, but are on Sorry, net I'm trying to organize. positive. Yes. Close quote. Explain that. Well, I, I, I don't know how to, how to say it differently. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you can't find an, any fault with any group that is uh, less fortunate. Mm -hmm. the, the, no, there are no, there are no uh, behaviors that they need to change in order to advance. Society needs to accept them as they are. In other words, the causes are to remain the same, but the effects are to change. And if the effects don't change, then it's society's fault. So, for example, the, there was a period, I'm trying to remember now, I believe it was in the mid-70s, mm. when uh, substandard English began to become a, a, yes. a, 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 began to become viewed as a discipline of its own within linguistic oh, yes. studies and so forth. And... For all I know, it was all perfectly legitimate that certain speech patterns would be traced back to various regions in Africa and so forth. And this is a, this is a language of its own. It has its own validity. But the argument, your argument would be, I don't really care what its validity is. It's holding people back. It's, yes. it's preventing them per, from participating in the wider society. Is that right? Ab absolutely. And also, none of these things went back to Africa. Oh, is that so? No. You, you can, yes, they did not go back to Africa. Uh, if you look at uh, the peace, for example, using the word acts for ask and stuff like that, uh, all of that goes back to the South, and, the, and, and it goes back to the parts of Britain from which white Southerners came. So if you trace the call, calling uh, hog entrails chitlins, uh, that was, that, that, that was in a certain section of Britain, the section from which whites moved into the South. And, the, and they were known as uh, rednecks and crackers in Britain in centuries past before they ever set foot in the South. Mm. Uh, so it, it, the whole thing is as phony as the $3 bill. All right. Once again, intellectuals and race. The key word among advocates of multiculturalism became diversity. Ah, yes. Sweeping claims for the benefits of demographic and cultural diversity have prevailed without a speck of evidence being asked for or given. Name a few institutions in which diversity is championed without, so, without evidence. Gosh, the question would be, name one way. Well, that isn't the case. Uh, I would say the whole Ivy League, mm -hmm. uh, Stanford, uh, Berkeley. Corporate America? Yes. It is, it's, really, it's really miraculous almost. I mean, I can't think of a word that has gained such widespread use and which is utterly unchallenged without one speck of evidence. If you look at societies that are diverse, they have all they can do to avoid uh, bl mutual bloodshed. I mean, India, for example, is very diverse. And, and you know, the... the, the it bar barely coheres as a nation. So. That, that's right. When, when, when India uh, was given its freedom by Britain and split into India and Pakistan, I mean, the number of people <laughs> slaughtered between Hindus and Muslims ran into the hundreds of thousands. Okay, y'all, so we're going to end that video right there like this. I'm a little irritated that the video wasn't longer, if I'm being honest, because, you know, who wouldn't want to, you know, hear more or get more information and just, you know, just have that talk. So it's definitely pretty interesting. Just, you know, I'm just pretty much convinced that at this point, anything that Mr. Soul says, like, I don't necessarily really have to go back to research it, but at the same time, you know, like just for the fact 
of me, you know, needing to find out information. And I know that he's like a brilliant mind, but you know, he's not exempt. I still need to go back and, you know, just research, not saying that I don't trust his word, but at the same time, it's just one of those things where you hear, you know, yeah, the person is great, but at the same time, you just, you know, you want to double, triple check, but I do trust what he says. You know what I'm saying so far? Because he ain't starting me wrong, you know, like he ain't told me any, any information that I didn't, you know, want to know. And he has a lot of common sense. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people don't have common sense. A lot of people think with their emotions, you know, and not logically not looking at the reality of things. And it's just, you know, it's just so much. It's just so much people will take, will, will really act off of emotion. And what they say, every time you act off emotion, you lose every single time. I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all hear this siren. I stay next to all of these stations. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just always pretty interesting to listen to Mr. Soul. So, guys, I want you guys to go show him some love and his channel and hit that subscribe button. Go subscribe to Mr. Thomas Soul's channel because he definitely have, you know what I'm saying, a lot of knowledge that he's been spilling for years. You know what I'm saying? He's an author, which I've got my hand on not had my eye on a certain book and i'm trying to find it like i don't know is it just me but i know that we can like you know read books on our phones our tablets and things like that now but it's nothing like just a hard cover book like i just like holding it in my hand it's just i don't know how to explain it. it's just something about it i know i'm a little weird i'm just i'm a little weird but anyway y'all i really hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video just as much as i enjoy reacting to it Y'all comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts and what your take is on this. Do you guys think that the black English, you know, did not originate from Africa? Like, do you guys disagree with what he's saying? Or do you guys just agree? Like, I want to know. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Also, y'all comment down below and give me more recommendations. Like I say all the time, every time you guys can actually shoot me links. Um, You can post them in the comment section below or you can, you know, type it out. Whatever you guys want me to react to. I'm going to keep standing every video just because, you know, I can find videos and this and that. But it's not the like recommendations, you know, like just knowing what you guys want to see. Also, guys, if you are not new to my channel, thank you for being here. But if you are new to my channel, y'all said that backwards. But if you are new to my channel, don't leave without hitting that red subscribe button and ringing that bell. So when I drop a new video, you will know. You won't miss it. You'll be right here. Also, guys, don't leave without also thumbing up, liking up this video. If you really like it, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean. <laughs> anyway, happy holidays to each and every one of you guys. Christmas is coming up. How many days? Four and five days. I have to look at the calendar real quick. Christmas is coming up in five days, and I think I counted New Year's is in 12. So we'll be in a new year in like 12 days, y'all. Y'all ready? You ready for 2023? If not, y'all better get ready. But anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys for coming through and coming to kick it with me. But I don't know why I said it like that. Y'all know I'm random. I always be critiquing myself when it just be so beside the point. But anyway, until next time, y'all.